And he that reapeth receiveth wages, and gathers fruit unto, unto life eternal, that he, both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true, one soweth and another reapeth. I sent you to reap that whereupon you bestowed no labor. Other man labored, and you are entered into their labors. Verse 39. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of the woman which testified, He told me ever I did. So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they, brought, they besought him that he would tarry with them, and he bowed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. And he said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know, and know that this, indeed, this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. It amazes me when people talk about the nature of God being one of evil judgment. Does God bring forth judgment? Yes. But not on those people that are looking for Him. He will bring judgment on those that reject Him, those that oppose Him, those that walk in pride, and those that walk in idolatry. Oh, yes. But here's a woman that even in the midst of sin, Right. Even in the midst of not being perfect, right. God went out of His way to meet her where she was. And you know what? If we are honest with ourselves, He's done it the same way with every one of us. Mm -hmm. Every one of us at some point, He has come out of His way to go into enemy territory and meet us where we were. And then bring us the word of life. That's the character and nature of God. That's why we serve Him. That's why we trust Him. That's why we can have faith in Him. Yeah. If we look around at our circumstances and situations, what did you call it when you talking about that idea of people not wanting to give up because they have too much investment invested in it? What you call it? Equity rescuing. Equity rescuing. All right, that's a big fancy word. Let me break it down for you. When you have a ton of stuff invent, invested in a direction, it's very difficult to let go. Sure. Right? I've done it. All done. We've all done it. She had a lot invested in her direction that she was going, this woman. Right. And when God brought the word to her, she had a choice to continue that way or receive the word of God. Right. We all come to that place. We have a lot invested in our work and our car and our relationship and whatever it is the Lord is dealing with us on. I want you to know the character and nature of God is never to deprive you of, of good things, That's but right. always to give you freedom and give you better. It's always to give you better. It's always to improve your state, not worse it. And I know some people are going to say, but you just don't understand. And I'm like, well, please realize I'm not always talking about your physical condition. I'm talking about your spiritual condition with God. Your heart condition with God. That's what he cares about. He knows you have need of other things as well. And he promises to take care of that. That's right. But he's most concerned about your heart condition. He's most concerned about your salvation. Amen. And I don't care what you have invested in whatever situation you're in that is not what he would have you do or be. Let me tell you what. If a guy will go out of his way to go into enemy territory, sit at a well and talk to a woman he had no business talking to just so she can have an answer to a question that she had, that God will come meet you too. Mm -hmm. He'll come talk to you too. He'll come give you the answers you need. You just got to seek. You just gotta ask. And you gotta keep seeking. And you gotta keep asking. Because he loves you. Amen? Amen.